From the beginning, PCCA has been driven by the desire to bring new ideas to compounding. From capsule machines, lollipop molds, suppository molds, ointment mills, EMPs, software, bases, formulations and training, PCCA has led the way. Now, PCCA is taking mixing to a whole new level. In the beginning, a rock bowl with a rock pestle was the method of choice for mixing powders. Refinements came, but the technology remained the same. There have been advancements, V-blenders, tumble blenders, ribbon blenders, shakers, and who can forget the magic bullet? But what if I told you, by harnessing the power of resonance and G-force, we could take a giant leap forward in the evolution of mixing technology? At PCCA, we think next. Next is here today. The next generation of mixing technology has arrived. Good morning. I'm Gus Bassani, Vice President of Consulting, R&D, and Formulations here at PCCA. And I am so excited to be here. And I've been waiting almost two years for this moment. You know, every once in a while, a product comes along that is truly revolutionary. This morning, I will show you a mixer that through an exclusive partnership with Residine Corporation in Butte, Montana, is, is, is not only revolutionary, but is fast. After all, time is money. Because we're in the business of personalized medication, it is engineered to be accurate. Now, it, it can't just be accurate one time. The results must be reproducible. And, in fact, they are. Quality and efficiency are so impacted with this device that beta users have called it game-changing. Operationally, it's so easy that a five-year-old could operate it. You know, every, every so often, a product comes along that inspires you that creates a new standard and transforms the way you work. At PCCA, we call that the wow. Today, we're not only launching a mixing device, but we're launching a quality boosting instrument that is marketable to your community and your regulators. In fact, it is a solution for efficiency that is 30 times more efficient than a mortar and pestle, 27 times more efficient than a magic bullet with no heat, mind you. V blenders, tumble blenders, guys, they're not even on the radar. So let me ask you this. Are you ready to see this thing? Mixer. Now, before we get into the live demo, I need to tell you a few things about this particular device. First of all, it uses low frequency sound combined with high G forces to initiate significant random motion of every particle contained within the container that's mounted on the platform. So, so what does that do? What it gives you 
is extremely fast mixing times, typically in the two to three minute range for most active pharmaceutical ingredients, with no need for the operator to be involved in that mixing process. Secondly, it gives you exceptional content uniformity with relative standard deviations less than 4%. In fact, usually far less than 4%, which is the FDA line of acceptability. And this is demonstrated over a broad range of APIs. Thirdly, guys, this is so easy to use. Now, in the example I'm about to show you, we used different colored pellets and a high-speed camera to show the random motion created by the PCCA RAM. Now granted, this is happening in seconds. Notice how quickly the, all the particles within the container that's mounted on top of that platform begins to move. So, you guys ready to see this thing in, mo in action? All right. So right here, we have a white powder with some blue food coloring that's just been weighed directly into the jar. It's a clear jar. To operate the machine, First, I've got to turn it on. That helps. Um, it's quite simple. We open up the cockpit door. I like to use the, the term cockpit. <laughs> Secure the jar into place. Just make sure it's nice and snug because this, this, this platform is moving up and down 60 times a second. Then, simply, I set my mixing intensity, low, medium, or high. We have found the sweet spot usually to be high intensity, although there are some materials that respond better to a low intensity. Then I set my time. I'm going to go ahead and just set it for one minute, and it'll probably only run for a few seconds. And now I'm just ready to push start. It's literally that easy. So here we go. Camera's on. And within seconds, you can visually see that that powder is now mixed into um, the entire mixture there. I'm not going to let it run for the, the whole minute. I'm just going to go ahead and stop it after probably about 10, 15 seconds. As you can see, very, very well uniform. Just like that. You want to see it again? Of course you do. <laughs> I use a different color this time. We have a white powder with some orange food color, just weighed right into it. I'm gonna mount it right onto the platform. Very easy, only takes a few seconds. Lock it into place. I've already got my high intensity mix setting, my time setting. I'm gonna go ahead and push start. Within seconds, you can see how impressive and quick this machine operates. Again, using low frequency sound is causing resonance throughout. Every single particle within the container is moving, along with that platform moving up and down at 60 times a second or so, generating G-forces upwards of 80 Gs. Normally, we would mix it a little bit longer, but this, for visual purposes, this is, this is plenty of time. There you go. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close the cockpit because we've got some more information to share with you guys. So, so to visually demonstrate the efficiency imparted by the RAM, we recorded f the capsule making process using four different methods. As you can see on the screen here, we used a mortar and pestle, the PCCA RAM, a magic bullet, and a V-blender. We timed each process, including the cleaning. Watch as each method is side by side in this time-lapse video. The weighing is the same for each method, but once the mixing starts, the separation from the pack really begins. Notice after loading, she, the, loading the RAM mixer on the far left, she's already setting up the capsule machine. And is very quickly, she is, she's ready here to encapsulate. It only, she's, only, she's only engaged in the machine for about 20 seconds after loading it. 
So there she is. She's gone back to the machine. She takes it off. It's mixed, ready to go, ready for encapsulation. encapsulation total, total time, 4 minutes, 11 seconds. Magic bullet. She's now just getting started on setting up her capsule machine. Mortar and pestle still going on the mixing process, 5 minutes, 59 seconds. V-Blender, of course, is tumbling. Here we go. Now she's about ready to get started on the magic bullet. Total time, seven minutes, one second. Mortar and pestle. And this is just the mixing part and the, the setting up of the capsules. A little over eight minutes now. And she's now ready for encapsulation on the mortar and pestle, nine minutes, 17 seconds. So finally, the other methods are, are ready to encapsulate. And so notice the total times, but, but keep in mind, only about 20 seconds or so are required for her to load and operate the RAM. Then she walked away. So now, we can't forget about the cleaning process. So the RAM literally takes a second. Notice instant replay here coming up. One second, <laughs> one second, uh, one second, <laughs> yeah. The others, multiple minutes. So you've got five minutes, 40 seconds on the bullet. Mortar and pestle, we've got four minutes, 31 seconds. And the V-Blender, we've got five minutes, 48 seconds. Should be noted on the bullet, there is this rubber gasket on the bottom of it that's not removable that actually could present some problems for uh, uh, cross-contamination. So here's a breakdown for each methodology. Even though the RAM took two minutes, 50 seconds there in total, and that includes her walking to the machine, loading it, and the mixing cycle itself. She was not actively involved in that process. We also, um, if you look at the, the top line, the weighing is the same for each method. Mixing, two minutes, 50 seconds total on the RAM. Bullet was 640, mortar and pestle, 857. V-Blender, 42 minutes, 53 seconds. Cleaning, one second versus the multiple minutes, and you can look at the total times as you go across the table. And one, one more thing, we also tested potency. We took a known, very tough thing to mix. We took a T3 15 microgram capsule formulation. And that's what we mixed in these processes. We then took samples from three different parts of the powder that was mixed and did potency testing. And our mission was to look at what's called content uniformity. How uniform is that powder distributed throughout the blend? And when you're dealing with very, very low concentrations, you guys know this, it's harder to do. So if you look at the table here on the left, you have the PCCA RAM results with the T3. The three results are all in spec, average 96.7 with a relative standard deviation of 1.8. That's very good, very uniform. The Magic Bullet had pretty good uniformity but everything was below spec, probably due to the heat that was generated. 86.9, 88, 87.3, so that would have been a failure. Mortar and pestle actually had one of the, one of the samples fail out of spec, 87.6, 94, 91.5. And by the way, this is a very experienced uh, uh, technician that was doing this mixing. I made sure that she was very diligent in what she was doing. Average 91.5, relative standard deviation 3.54, so a broader range of, of content uniformity. The V blender, uh, again, had one that was out of spec at 87.6, average 89.9, so that would have failed at an RSD of 2.56. Very, very impressive uh, results. Each method presented with some issues, but the RAM had some beautiful uh, results with a very low RSD. What an incredible device. And it's such a pleasure to be here this morning to launch it. Thank you for this opportunity to show you this groundbreaking, game-changing technology. We look forward to seeing you guys at the R&B booth later today.